moving on to question number 10 this is the last question of the paper so we need to use algebra to prove by exhaustion that for all positive integers m that are not multiples of 3 the value of this expression is always a multiple of 3 so m cannot be a multiple of 3 and we need to show that this expression is a multiple of 3 so if m cannot be a multiple of 3 so we can write the value of m as 3k plus 1 because we know that 3k is a multiple of 3 so if you add 1 to it it will become not a multiple of 3 basically so let's calculate the value of m squared plus 3m plus 2 so this will be 3k plus 1 whole squared <clears throat> plus 3 times 3k plus 1 plus 1 so this becomes 9k squared plus 6k plus 1 plus 9k plus 3 plus 1 so the value of this will be equals to 9k squared plus 15k plus okay, sorry there is a slight mistake this was supposed to be plus 2 as you can see in the expression so this will be plus 2 this is plus 2 so this becomes 6 now we can take 3 as a common factor from the entire expression so that's 3k square plus 5k plus 2 so we can say that this is a multiple of 3 so which is a multiple of 3 Now we have just uh, talked about one case. The other case could be that m can be equals to 3k minus 1. Because as usual, 3k is a multiple of 3. If you subtract 1 from it, this becomes not a multiple of 3 basically. So now let's calculate the value of m squared plus 3m plus 2. Plus one plus two. So if we expand the first expression, that gives us nine k squared minus six k plus one, and that's nine k minus three plus two. So this gives us nine k squared plus three k and and zero so plus zero and you don't you do not need to write this and if you take three common from this expression this gives us 3k squared plus k so this is also a multiple of three so you can write it by the side that which is a multiple of three So finally you can say that so if m is not a multiple of 3 then m squared plus 3m the expression was m squared plus 3m plus 2 is a multiple of th is always a multiple of three so that is it for this question
and if you guys have any question have any confusion regarding the solutions please let us know in the comment section and we will try to answer each and every single question as soon as possible and that is it for this video and i will see you guys next time